nice to do it at the All England as far as they're concerned, wouldn't it? If there's one to do it, it's certainly this one. Yeah. Great use of the centre there, just down the space in between the two players. Very, very intelligent player, so moving well but also thinking well. Both Jenny's parents, international badminton players. Service over, 17-15. That, I think, is a clear demonstration of what you were saying earlier, Ian, about the return of serve from Nova Woodyanka. He's very, very dominant on return. He just doesn't like... He prides himself on not giving points away when he's on return. Creates a lot of pressure on the opponents. Nathan, Nathan showing that he's not bad on return either. That's a super so shot from Nathan. And again, 18. no reaction on the knee. That's a good sign. Great movement. Good precision. Of course, Nathan may be 32 years of age, but certainly the two mixed doubles pairs that we've seen today, this pair obviously, and also Anthony Clark and Heather Olver, are probably Great Britain's biggest hopes of a medal at the London 2012 Olympics. I know we're a couple of, well, two and a half years away from it, but he's so experienced. And mixed doubles is, is the most complex, I guess, of all the di disciplines, and tactical awareness and experience does play a huge part in it. Yeah, I think there's a lot, there's a lot of elements that possibly go in Nathan's favour. Um, He's, he's got a great experience. 1916, Nathan. Well, Nathan doesn't like the call. He was convinced that the shuttle was long of that back line. That's it. Play on. He's looking towards the giant screen. Last time. Oh, my goodness. Well, no question. And the crowd here at the National Indoor Arena have just seen the giant screen, seen the replay they all know that well quite frankly that was in badminton terms, that was a long way out and I think, I think there were in the last match in the men's singles we saw an example of a very experienced umpire getting a couple of tough go tough calls right here we've got a slightly less experienced umpire well in defence of the umpire, I have to say that the rules state that, you, that the umpire can only overrule immediately if she or he or she sees a clear error has been made. By the time the replay was shown on the giant screen, it wasn't immediate. But I understand Nathan's frustration. I mean, Absolutely. she's in a good position in the chair. It's on her side of the court. She should have had a good vision of that, really. Yep. Don't disagree with that. But perhaps that will spur Nathan Robertson into even better things. Using the anger and the aggression to his advantage. Yeah, that's very, very good throw from Miliana Natsia. Just pushing the shuttle off the net enough, just keeping it in a downward direction, aiming towards that mid-court area. Just getting past Jenny Woolwork, but it would have landed. It did land in front of Nathan Robertson. Good tactics. It's game points. Just long. Saved. Oh, uh, this time they convert the second time of asking, and the number two seeds, Nova Widianto and Liliana Natsia, close Nova out Lilianto the opening game. Umpire confirms the score 21 18.
Yes, and they will be bitterly disappointed with that. But they're right in there fighting for game number one to the Indonesians. I think also with your variety from the back, right? Okay. Sometimes if you if you if you're cutting down as well, it's taking a little bit of steel out, and, you, and then we can try to get to the table a little bit. Right? If we see them coming, we go over and make them work. Right? Just be well, really ready. I think that stat the really emphasises the point of how important the woman's role is in mixed doubles. Their job is basically to finish off the rally from the front of the court. Yeah, that's interesting. Get set in between rallies. Make sure we're in control. That's fine, though. Still seem pretty positive in their body language. Yeah. Jim Robertson urging his players really take their time in between points, get themselves settled. I think it was important just to settle them down after that bad line call. Just need to calm down a little bit and be very focused on what they're actually trying to achieve tactically here. And Julian was asking for them to play with a little bit more variety, try and get the block in, maybe go over the top a little bit just to move Nova a little bit and not try to force everything through the forecourt. Again, what was very good in the coaching break, it was very good to see Jenny being active, talking, giving an opinion, really fully participating in this com uh, combination. That's a good sign for the future. So it's very expressive as Nathan Roberts, which is great for us as spectators watching because we can see exactly what he's feeling when he's fed up, when he's delighted with himself and, and sharing his emotions with the crowd. I mean, that's lovely to watch. But I guess from a coaching point of view, do you try and curb that? Because obviously if opponents see that he's fed up with something and angry that he's made a mistake, then they may draw inspiration from that. I think over the years, Nathan's matured a lot and he tends to use uh, negative situations to his advantage now to motivate himself. On the whole, is a very mature, uh, calculating player now with a very, very good tactical brain. And I think that, as you were saying, his, this experience, I think, is one of the reasons where he's, why he's so determined to go to London. He just left a slight bad taste in his mouth, I think, the, the Beijing experience, and he's very, very keen to get to go through to London. And he's training as hard as he's ever trained. Luck of the net board. Well, I didn't think Service their Beijing three, experience two. was that bad. They lost to the eventual champions, gold medalists. I, I think both of them had a, had a level of expectation on themselves. And not that they pressured themselves, but they, they, they'd won the silver and their objective really was gold, which is understandable having been to the final four years previous. But I think Nathan just felt slightly unfulfilled at the end of that. And he's certainly very, very determined to, to carry on through to the London Games. Finds the gap. 